If enabled, you see a new Ringtail login page. On the login page, type your username and click Next. On the following page, type your password and click Login. To return to the previous page, click the left arrow button next to the Login button. If configured, the new login page includes a login link to an additional identity provider. Only use this link if your account is configured with the other provider. Otherwise, log in with the regular login form. What's new for administrators? Under File Repositories, click Extract to extract the contents of a zip file. If the zip is password protected, select File as password protected and type the password. Choose the location for the extracted contents, confirm duplicate handling, and click OK. Once the contents are extracted, refresh the destination to see the files. Click Compress to add selected folders and files to a zip file. If needed, select Password Protect the File and type a password. Choose the location for the zip file and click OK. Once the zip file is created, refresh the destination to see the zip file. Under Imaging Settings, a Resize Images to Fit Page option is available on the Email and Website page. A Resize Images option is also available on the Word page. If images are resized, the Imaging Document Info field value is Resize Image was Resized. For ingestions, if a native file cannot be obtained, Ringtail attempts to create a text file. If text is available, a text file is inserted and the text file is named using the document ID. The Meta Processing Exceptions field is populated with extracted text only. The Meta File Extension Loaded field is populated with the value TXT. A new preview function under the Document ID Prefix box displays the next available number. A new spreadsheet load file template type allows you to export load files in a CSV format. This template type is available for general or production. It is a document load file type. Do not change delimiter settings. Ringtail overrides any changes made. Spreadsheets generated using this template type contain two hyperlinked columns. In the exported load file, clicking the value in the link to image file column will open the first associated image file. Clicking the value in the link to native file column will open the associated native file. To change the link display text, use the column builder to update the doc ID text value. For example, you could change the text to read click to view file. Let's look at an export containing a spreadsheet load file and associated documents. Here we see the two link columns included in this load file type. Let's click on a value in the link to image file column to open that image file. Let's click on a value in the link to native file column to open that native file. At the portal, the user administration identity provider settings page is now a display-only list of the configured identity providers. Each user's profile page contains a new display-only field for identity provider. Users without an identity provider log in using the default authentication method for the portal. The report's hosted details page now includes a new column named Predict. The number reflects the total size of the predict data associated with documents in the case. The number in the total size column includes the number in the predict column. The number for the predict data was previously included in the other data column. On the settings portal disclaimer page, the options for the visibility list are renamed and reordered. A new logging feature collects data to proactively identify issues and track the feature usage to continuously improve Ringtail. No client data is collected during this process. The enable logging option is selected by default for the case on the case options page. You can manually clear this option to stop logging for the case. Thank you for watching. See you next month.